The housing system is rigged against renters. In Britain today, private renters spend on average around a third of their incomes on rent, on properties that are disproportionately in shoddy conditions with problems like damp and mould rife. And things are getting worse. Rents have soared to record highs, up 33% outside London in the past four years. That means homes in England are, on average, not only the smallest in Europe, but also in the worst condition and amongst the least affordable. And the rights that renters have to live in these often overpriced, overcrowded and unsafe homes are pathetically weak, with no fault eviction notices handed to a private renter every three minutes, forcing many renters into homelessness. Research shows that renters are so worried about the risk of being evicted that they often don't ask their landlords for vital repairs or challenge grossly unfair rent hikes. And in my constituency, I recently had a case that highlighted the need for stronger renters' rent rights and the abolition of no-fault evictions. Having lived in her home for 15 years, Mandy and her two sons were issued with a no-fault eviction, giving them just two months to find a new home. As Mandy said, the threat of eviction is so stressful. The thought of having to move my family into temporary accommodation away from our community has kept me up at night. This was particularly difficult for one of us young sons who is disabled and has complex needs. With the family on the brink of homelessness and bailiffs turning up, the community tenants union Acorn stepped in and supported Mandy and her family, allowing more time to find a new home. And I'm pleased to say, with the eviction delays, they found a new home. But, Mr Deputy Speaker, not everyone is so lucky. That's why no-fault evictions need to be banned. And while on paper that's what this bill says it will do, I share the concern of colleagues. Because not only is this bill filled with loopholes, giving unscrupulous landlords opportunities to get round the scrapping of no-fault evictions, today it was revealed that the government will indefinitely delay introducing the ban promising that it will come into effect only after court reforms have been implemented, and who knows when that will happen. And of course, Mr Deputy Speaker, this delay has been welcomed by the landlord lobby and now, no doubt, many landlords opposite. Mr Deputy Speaker, the Government promised a new deal for private renters with quality, affordability and fairness at its heart, but this bill is far too little, far too late. Because renters don't just need real watertight bans on no-fault evictions, they need rent caps and an end to ever-soaring rent rises. They need an end to the Thatcherite right to buy and the privatisation of council homes, which has seen two-thirds of council homes sold off, almost half being bought up by private landlords, only leased out again at far, far higher rents. And renters also need a government-led council house building programme, building hundreds of thousands of new homes, high quality, owned by the council, obviously, every single year. Ultimately, Mr Deputy Speaker, we need a government that shifts the balance away from bad landlords and big property developers in favour of renters and working-class communities. Yeah.